Hey boys and girls. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope you had a really good Easter. I hope you enjoyed spring break last week. And I hope you're all excited about getting on back getting back on track with school. So here's what I wanted to do. I came outside on my front porch today. That's why I've got my sunglasses on. It's bright out here. And I wanted to start a brand new Junie B. Jones book. You know, we finished the Junie B. Easter book right before spring break. And I thought it would be good for us to get back on track with a new Junie B. Jones book. And the one that we're going to start today is called Junie B. Jones Has a Peep in Her Pocket. And here's what I want you guys to do. Now, I know that we're not at school right now. And I know that unfortunately we're not going to be able we're not going to be able to go on our field trip this spring like we had planned on. We were going to go to Strawberry Hill next month, and we're not going to be able to do that. But the good news is we're going to use Junie B. Jones to kind of help us go on a pretend field trip. We're going to use our imaginations while we read this Junie B. book. This book is about her about Junie B. going on a field trip to a farm with her kindergarten class. So while I'm reading, as we go through each chapter, I want you to use your imagination, and I want you to pretend like that you're with Junie B. So, like I said, even though it's not a real field trip, we're still going to be using our imaginations to pretend like we're going on a, on a field trip with Junie B and her class. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This book has eight chapters. It's not very long. We're going to go ahead and read chapter one today. The name of chapter one is Confusing Stuff. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. I am almost six years old. Almost six is when you get to go to school. And so last summer, Mother took me to the school office, and she rolled me in afternoon kindergarten. Rolled is the grown-up word for signed me up and made me go. Only guess what? So here's Junie B. when her mother's taking her to kindergarten for the first time. I don't even mind going there hardly, because I made two bestest friends at that place. That's why. Their names are Lucille and That Grace. We are like three peas in a row. My teacher's name is Mrs. She has another name, too, but I just like Mrs., and that's all. Only here is the trouble. Just when I was getting good at kindergarten, Mrs. made announcement to our class, and she said that pretty soon school is going to end. I did a gasp at that terrible news. <gasps> no, Mrs., no, no. How can school end? Because Mother said I have to go to school till I am an old teenager, and I am not even six years old yet. Mrs. Quick shaked her head. Oh, dear, I'm sorry, Junie B., she said. I'm afraid that you've misunderstood me. School isn't going to end forever. School will just be taking a summer vacation. She smiled at me. You and everyone else in this class will come back to school in September. It's just that you won't be in room nine anymore. I quick got out a paper and crayon. Okie doke, then tell me the name of our new room, I said, because I will need to tell mother where to bring me. Mrs. did a little frown. I'm sorry, she said again, but right now I have no idea what room you'll be in next year. Now I did a frown too. So what am I supposed to do then? Just wander around the school until I find you people? Mrs. looked funny at me. <clears throat> you still don't understand, she said. Next year, you're going to have a different teacher, Junie B. Next year, you're going to be in first. First what? I asked. First grade, she said. Just then, my stomach felt sickish inside, because I don't even like first graders. That's why. First graders are bullies to me at recess, and I don't want to be in the same room as those guys. 
Pretty soon, a boy named William started to sniffle very much. Because William hates first graders even more than me. That's because one time, a first grader stole William's winter hat with the ear flaps, and he put it on a dog that was running around the playground. So here's Junie B. And some of her friends. And the dog run away with William's ear flap hat forever. I patted William very nice. Me and William don't want to be in the same room as first graders, I told Mrs. Me and William prefer children our own age. Me too, said my bestest friend, Lucille. I prefer children my own age, too. Me too, hollered a boy named Polly Allen Puffer. Me too, said a girl named Charlotte. Mrs. said, shh, to us. Boys and girls, please. Now everyone is misunderstanding me, she said. We need to get clear on this right now. Next year, when you come back to school, you will not be in class with the children who are first graders this year. Next year, those children will move up to second grade, and you people will move up to first. Understand? I thought and thought about that. Then, all of a sudden, a light bulb came on in my head. Oh! I get it now. All of the grades move up. Right, Mrs.? Everyone does. She clapped her hands. Right, exactly, she said, very happy. Now, may I please get on with my announcement? I brushed my skirt very smoothly. Yes, you may, I said, real polite. Okay, said Mrs., as I started to tell you earlier, I have very happy news for Room 9, because this year, for the first time ever, we are going to go, <clears throat> excuse me, on a special end-of-the-year field trip. She smiled real big. We're going to a farm. Doesn't that sound like fun? A farm, shouted the children. A farm, a farm. We're going to a farm. Then Lucille hugged me, very thrilled. A farm, she said real squealy in my ear. A farm, I said real glum. Because guess what? Farms are not my favorites. That's the end of chapter one, boys and girls, and we'll find out why Junie B doesn't like farms very much when we get further into the book. The name of chapter two is Stubby, and you'll find out who that is when we get to chapter two. So I hope everybody enjoyed that, and I hope you're looking forward to chapter two, and I'll see you guys very soon. Love you. Miss you all. Bye.